they get the whole like sous chef thing going on in the back, right? Where they're coming up with this crazy ass recipe, sous chef putting it together, mixing it all up. And they said, hey, what the hell? Why don't we just go ahead and ra crank this thing right up to uh, 20 years old and do a gold label expression. So that's what we're going to taste tonight. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for your dose of Weekly Whiskey with John and Jay. Weekly Whiskey is made on Mackie. And if you'd like to find out more about the top-notch studio gear we're using, you can find out on Mackie.com. Hell yeah, Mackie's great. Great gear. Uh, let's go ahead and dive on into the whiskey. What do we have to, tonight, John? So we get a fun limited edition review tonight. We're going to dig into the Barrel Seagrass Gold Label. So this is the third iteration of Barrel Seagrass. So they, they've really been ramping this out over the last... Oh, two years or so uh, with the initial seagrass coming out as a blended product of Kentucky, Tennessee, and Indiana rise finished three ways blended beautifully I thought and then the great label that rolled out which was a Canadian distillate that was then finished the same way as the standard seagrass so when we're talking about finished three ways we're talking it's the rye whiskey is then put into rum Madeira and apricot brandy casks. They get the whole like sous chef thing going on in the back, right? Where they're coming up with this crazy ass recipe, sous chef putting it together, mixing it all up. And they said, hey, what the hell? Why don't we just go ahead and ra crank this thing right up to uh, 20 years old and do a gold label expression. So that's what we're gonna taste tonight. And this is something that is fun. Yeah, I like to think of this one kind of like putting together the full course, right? Where we have, we have regular seagrass, um, and when they create this, you know, they're, they're creating three different whiskeys, blending them together. They just happen to be getting older and older and older. This is the gold label, 20 years old, uh, proof nicely at 64.06% ABV. So 128.12 proof. Let's get drinking. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, I, on the nose right off, this thing is just going to punch you right up. It's got layers and layers of fruit, sweetness, and a lot of things that are happening. That extra oak is really apparent over the gray label too. So this thing is definitely the big brother, I would say. Yeah, it, 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 it's amazing to me how much more oak there is. I love the gray label, you know, spoiler, I gave it a 10 out of 10. I gave it a perfect 100 points. Uh, that one was just, you know, uh, I thought it was a perfect balance. There was much less oak here. There's way more. It's definitely apparent, like in the color. See if this, yeah, like the color is just really... Uh, you know, bold and rich, and and it really comes through on the nose. Like this thing is oaky, but all the fruits are still there as well. Yeah, it doesn't lose anything on the fruit. I feel like it maybe whereas the seagrass sixteen, I kind of consider to be like volume up to eleven, not quite as complex as this overall. But the things that are there are cranked up with such volume that you just can't turn it down. Uh, I actually did a a whole comparison of all three expressions of seagrass on my site you could check out we'll put that in the show notes but going from one to the other here like there's really just there's no loser in this lineup to quote you know dj at rarebird101.com there's no losers here like these are all really really fun unique and killer expressions it's just do you want to pay the price as you go up the chain is really what this is going to amount to the moment this was announced i had a hundred emails in my inbox and saying oh my gosh, like, are you going to give this an 11 out of 10? And my first answer was like, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. Second answer was, Maybe. you know, <laughs> I I loved how raw and unbridled Seagrass 16 was. We both quarrel about oak all the time. You know that if I can take a little less oak, you'll usually take a little more oak. So I was kind of curious to see how this would come through. I'm amazed how much more oak there is for only, you know, an ex, you know, only an extra four years of aging. But it's definitely here. I think that what Barrel's done is kind of rolled out like a seagrass for everyone, like seagrass 101. Like, you know, if you just want like a nice, easy sipping rye that has a little bit of these characters, regular seagrass is there. If you want that bold, spirity Canadian rye that's really heavy on the apricot, seagrass gray labels there. And if you want like the, this is the most balanced I can think that it would ever be like the fruit is there. That cocktail syrup note is there. It's like dull fruit syrup and oak just kind of blended together. Uh, and it really comes down, you know, if you have, if if you're down to spend the money like this, this is kind of the perfect, you know, blend of the other two, in my opinion. It really is. That's a great way to put it. I mean, this is rounded. It is complex. It's got the mouthfeel. It has a little bit of everything going on. It really does kind of, in a sense, it justifies its price point 
by the sum of its components. Whether it's gonna be worth it to everybody is their own choice to make. I always say that flavor and price are the two most objective things in whiskey. Like, does it taste good? If I think so and you don't, we're both right. Is it worth it to me? And is it worth it to you? If we both agree or disagree, we're both right. Like, there's no way to get that equation right or wrong. You just have to make your own choice there. But when it comes down to what this is, it's a very rich, really complex pour of whiskey, and it's really, really nice. I agree. And I, it's interesting, too, not to compare two different brands, but people have been like, oh, my gosh, like, how can they put out a $500 rye? And I asked, like, Whistle Pig has been doing it for years now. And... We have tried a lot of whistle pigs on the channel. We'll drop some previous reviews of those, you know, those boss hogs down in the show notes. And honestly, we find them to be typically great to the point where I typically every other year I'm looking to buy one. And this is a direct competitor to that. If you have the money, this will sit on shelves. You know, when you when you rile up enough pocket change and you're ready to drop 500 bones because it's you know, it's not a small price to pay. I'm thankful that these these will be on shelves still because they are at their price point. And they're certainly not the first product to do that. So now it's kind of like Boss Hog has some competition and they're very similar. Like Boss Hog 17, 18 year old rise, crazy finishes. Look, we've got that from Barrel here. So it's it's kind of interesting to see how similar these are, you know, even though they taste completely different. Yeah, I, I think there's, that's no mistake, right? That Boss Hog has been 500 bucks SRP since day one. They are releasing 17 plus year finish rye whiskeys. And this comes in at the same price point with a very similar style of product. I, I think that's no mistake. And I mean, Whistlepig really has written the book on if you think it's worth this much, sell it for that. And if people don't like it, they won't buy it. And if it didn't work, they wouldn't have been doing it for almost a decade. So going in, I, I understand that we're only just on July's doorstep here as we record this, but. You know, this screams that special gift, that special bottle that I got a promotion, I want to treat myself, you know, this person's getting married, I want to get my boss this thing, or I got to, you know, whatever, like, this is in that category of bottle. I, you know, people ask, like, are you going to drink Gold Label all the time? And the answer is definitely no. I'm going to drink regular seagrass at the same consistency I've been drinking it, which is anytime I'm making a cocktail or anytime I'm having a neat pour outside, like, seagrass is that perfect summer whiskey but if you want to take it up a notch like this is clearly the way and if you like less oak get the gray label if you like more oak get the gold label i think it's as simple as that and if you just like seagrass buy a hundred pack of straws buy a few bottles of seagrass and every time you want some just put a straw in that bottle and sip it like a juice box because holy shit, is it good Right, so let's go ahead and sum up here. Tasted it, a little bit oakier, a lot more fruit, a lot more complexity, but a lot more balance. I think it's, it, this is probably the least, you know, kind of aggressive, kind of out there, avant-garde of the seagrass expressions. You uh, like it, John? You a fan? Do you, if you had to pick one of the three, you know, where, where are you leaning? Yeah, uh, so I did a full comparison of the three, and I did end up kind of saying that for me, in this one, the 20 is really right up there. And I almost, in my my whole takeaway really was that the 16 is everything dialed up to 11. It's great, it's punchy, it's got a ton of flavor, an eternal finish. The 20 is a little bit quieter overall, but more balanced, well-rounded. But it's tough to beat the value of the original seagrass. So if you wanna get involved with these, the original seagrass is gonna scratch the same edge. They're all great. Do I like the gold? Shit, yeah. It's really, really nice. I like it a lot. I think after tasting these three, I love the gold, but the gray label will always be the apple in my eye. I love that it's turned up to 11. And even then, on it, you know, every day, I'm not always looking at my face ripped off. Regular seagrass it is for me. So I think that's a perfect way to close this one out. All right, man. I'm with you. Thanks, guys, for getting your dose of weekly whiskey with John and Jay. Hell yeah. If you like the content that we are putting out, if you want more reviews, more info, if you want to join our community and talk to us, you know, on the daily as we're seeing these products come and go, uh, you can join us over at patreon.com slash the whiskey net. And remember, you can check out our studio sponsor, Mackie, online at Mackie.com. Right. And if you're looking for more info from John, uh, he talked about he's compared all three of these. They're on his website, thebourbonfinder.com. Also, go ahead and check him out on Instagram as well. And if you're looking for more from me, I'm Jay over at whiskeyraiders.com. Uh, review of this one will be dropping this week. So go ahead and check it out. And thanks for joining us. So cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers.